hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and I'm back with another video so in this one we are going to go back to product modeling and we're going to create this serum bottle in Maya I have this reference which you can get from my discord server and all the links are given in the description so let's start with the modeling so I'm going to take a cylinder for the modeling of this bottle and I'll go to this uh, wireframe mode and just trying to trace this reference image I'm going to increase the radius and we can keep the height to something like this and I'm going to uh, select the vertices pull these up and now to create this part we need to extrude the faces here and I'm going to scale this here and for this curve part I'm going to select this and go to editing utilities and split this and if I select it go to wireframe mode and scale this up then this is going to trace this outline and to make this more accurate I'm going to just bevel this and add one segment like this which should be good enough let's select all these vertices and pull these up a little and again I'm going to select the top face and scale this down just a little bit now to maintain this curve we can also select this and uh, you can use edit edge flow just bring this edge up a little bit and I'm going to repeat the same thing with this one so edit edge flow and this one now we have this basic shape of the bottle and let's select the top faces one more time and I'm going to extrude this to create this part and as you can see that we have a little bit of extra space on this left side so I'm going to go back and maybe scale this down a little bit more and then extrude now to create this one uh, I'm going to extrude one more time till here like this and then just extrude again and cover this part now to create this round part I'm going to just select this and extrude like this maybe till here something like this and select this edge split and I'm going to scale this like this and to create this roundness I'm going to bevel this and add one segment like this and this should just do the job so this is looking round enough and when we add some subdivisions here some supporting edges then this is going to look much better now to create the internal part of the bottle I'm going to just select these faces scale this down like this go to wireframe mode and I'm going to bring this down here like this one more time and scale this part and at last till here like this now for this internal part I'm going to again split and place this here a little bit up and then bevel with one segment and I'll just scale this up till here like this again select this one match it with this curve part here So I think this looks good enough and for the bottom part what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select 
these two edges and bevel it like this now i'm going to start with adding the supporting edges so i'll just go to multi cut tool i'm going to add few loops here like this and you can repeat the same thing inside and as for these parts i'm going to select the edge from the inside as well bevel this turn down the fraction you can turn off chamfer or add one segment and same thing for these parts again bevel and same thing here i'm going to repeat and if i press 3 and see it in smooth preview then this would look much better so this is it for the bottle now we can start the top here and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select the faces here and i'm going to duplicate like this go to modify center pivot and i'm going to extrude this part like this go to vertex mode select the vertices up here and place them here like this maybe pull these up a little bit and i'm going to add one loop here and then select this and extrude this part like this now we need this dropper thing here so i'm going to again uh, duplicate these faces modify center pivot and we can just place this so extrude it like this one more time and just trace this reference image like this and for this part i'm going to just merge edges to center and if you see this uh, polygon turns black what you can do is you can just select this go to mesh display and reverse the normals and for this one i'm going to just go here like this and add few segments like this or maybe what you can do here is you can just bring this down a little bit now select the edge and add some segments increase the fraction like this you might have some triangles on the top which you can remove by just selecting the alternate edges and deleting them or you can also do some manual work but i think this much should be enough for something like this and i'm going to again add few edge loops like this and if i press 3 and see it in smooth preview then this might look exactly like the reference maybe we can just delete this part so that's it that was the bottle now we can uh, model this cube inside so i'm going to go to front view and i'm going to take a cylinder 
or what you can do is you can take a sphere and i'm going to bring this down turn down subdivision access to something like this and also the radius place it here and i'm going to select the faces here extrude scale it like this and one more time add an edge split here and scale you can bevel this use edit edge flow now let's add a blend material on this for now and i'm going to just add a little bit of transparency so that we can see this tube inside clearly and if i press 3 then you will see that we have a dropper tube just like this now we have this part we need to add some supporting edges so i'm going to just select all the hard edges of the corners and then we can bevel ton of chamfer and this should just do the job so that's it we have done the modeling for this bottle and everything looks great so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that's it for this video i might do an extension of this video where i'll add some shaders and render this in maya so if you want me to make that video then do let me know in the comments and i'll work on it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one